Hello everyone, this is going to be my working environment for the next few days. I'm come now on this bungalow uh, to start fitting the kitchen. Um, it's a really big space actually and it's not particularly um, technical uh, install. It's all just units all the way around the outside and then there's a small, well there's a utility bank of units in here. Um, I've got all my units been delivered, they're all rigid from the usual supply, really nice kitchens these are. Um, and obviously look, I gather this plans for me, um, so yeah we can see it's a fairly straight run but all the way around the outside. So um, I'll get some of these uh, sort of unwrapped and start bringing them through, get them sort of roughly into position around the, corner, uh, around the outside and across the back there. And then as usual with kitchens I always tend to find it's easier to start from the corner and then work your way out. Um, hopefully this should all be nice and square because I put the, um, the stud walls in. So yeah, it should be a nice easy start to the week. It's a new week this week and um, we've had a long, hot summer here in the UK. I'm not complaining, it's been absolutely fantastic. I think everyone needed a bit of a break from the usual rainy uh, summer after the last few years of madness that we've had. So. Um, I'm just glad that actually uh, I'm out of the heat, although it's coming towards the end of the summer, it's still quite warm outside and this thunderstorm. So um, I've been outside doing a lot of rooms and if you've, uh, if you've watched my channel, you've seen all the rooms that I've been doing. So a lot of inside work now, which is great coming towards the end of the summer and autumn and winter. So anyway, enough talking, let's get some tools out and start to getting some of these units through. I've got a few units in now, I managed to get a lift with some of these bigger ones and it's really a simple case now of just setting this corner up, unit up right and then we can start to work our way out. So get my level out, take some measurements and uh, let's start leveling them up. Right, easy, as, easy straightforward stuff now, set the laser up over here and it's firing, look, a lovely line all the way around there so really couldn't be easy. I've got my normal level out that just helps me sort of get them roughly in the right position then I'll just uh, make it uh, so they all just kiss the laser line like that, would be absolutely perfect, you know it's going to be nice and dead flat, so uh, yeah, I've uh, got this one levelled in already, I'll pull that one across, level that up, and then um, there's a um, tall unit going in there that's got a double oven in it, so I've just measured that off, so I'll just get all these levelled in, uh, and then there's some services to come through the bottom of this one, um, so yeah, it's, it's really very straightforward, this kitchen here, so I should get most of this uh, back of this broken today easily and then the stone guys can come in and, and template for the worktop. It's got to cut the kitchen, uh, cut the sink in there obviously. So yeah, looking good so far. So you really couldn't be easier with these uh, lovely adjustable legs, that's it, leveled in. So um, just close, close that gap up there and then we can uh, screw these together. Easy as that with these adjustable legs, really cool, just wind up and down until it hits the laser. Job done, then I've just got to screw them all together. Oh, drag this big unit through now, let's just put it in position. Cook a 
three. So as I mentioned, the key uh, to setting out this, this uh, there's only two runs, the key is this corner unit here, and the key to this measurement here is this pre-made um, corner section, lovely. Um, I think it's about 70 mil by 70 mil. We've got a J-pool handle here, so there's obviously mirrors, the doors. So once I get this uh, mounted uh, into this corner here, uh, then there's an 18 mil end panel, full height end panel goes on here, um, and then obviously there's another end panel goes in here. So we can really start to sort of put stuff together and start to get stuff fixed back and screwed together. So I'll get that put in there now. I'm just preparing this corner unit, like I said. So what I've got is this carrier piece that I put on the back, which is what I'm going to do is screw that in. It's a, it's a mill or so bigger because that simulates half of the joint of the door because this is supposed to run in line with obviously the face of the doors and marry, uh, match the gaps. So I'm going to uh, clamp that and screw that through the back. And what that will enable me to do then is give me something to fix through from the side of this unit. Once I put the end panel on, I can screw all the way through and fix into there. Um, and then what I'm going to do on the other side, look, is I've just drilled some holes there and I'll just fix that through the back. So let's get that uh, attached on there. I'm just using here uh, four by 30 screws. So let's get that clamped on. This end panel down in here, which I'm going to do next. I'll slide that unit across, obviously, and then I can just put a fixing all the way through 
the edge of this carcass into that uh, backer piece I put on there and that'll hold it up lovely. So, uh, brilliant. Here we go. In. where these uh, airbags come in really handy and there's a gap obviously they haven't tiled all the way back so I can still get this underneath and just pump it up that millimetre until I get it absolutely perfect. So brilliant bits of kit, use them all the time. Let's pump it up. It's gone in really, really nice little clamp on the top, and I'm just going to put a slightly longer screw here, obviously, because we're going through uh, the end panel. So. Superb, right, that's done. If I bring that in there. You can see how lovely and set up this corner is, look. It's all, it's right, it's right in the nice line here. This will now run in line with the front of the doors. We've got that nice little gap I explained about. And we, obviously, if we didn't have that, this would be tight and wouldn't look right, so, yes. That's really nice, that look all set up now. So, um, put the other end panel on here and then we can literally start screwing them all together and working our way along. One quick other thing I had mentioned in other videos. This has got cut MDF edge. I've uh, PVA'd it on the bottom. I've put a bit of PVA up the front just in case we get any spillage on here. That should stop that from blowing out. So very important that, because although it's not seen, you don't want water if there's a big spillage in here to start blowing that panel there. Ding, ding, round two. Was it round three or is it round four? You don't know how many times I had this in because by the magic of editing, I could pretend that you went in the first time. <laughs> no, honestly, it's just the second time. I'll try and be as honest as I can in my videos. If I, if I make a mistake, I'll try and show it because we all make mistakes. Doesn't matter who you are, how many we are doing it. We all make mistakes. It's just a case of how bad they are. And whether or not you can get round them without causing too much aggro and expense. But ultimately, it's taking the panel back out to take a bit more off it is definitely better than thinking, damn, I'm taking too much off one of them to do now. So. Uh, the old adage, what is it? Measure twice, cut once. Right, let's have a look at that now. That is it. Lovely. Let's get a bit of Lovely. 
Okay, right. We'll get one down here as well. I think we'll get one down there. Brilliant. Excellent. Good hold of this unit because there's a couple of bites down there, so now I've got to try and uh, lift it up and over. Let's see how I get on. I'm going to break myself. Yeah. 